Now here we have Aaron and Stuart, and who won the category for the best horror film? Oh, I know, right? <laughs> Listen, I'm not into horror films. I always feel very, very um, no. I wouldn't even say the word fearful, but you kind of like. I'm always wondering if I I'll, I'll, if it's going to play on my mind. That's the right word. Give you the right nightmares. <laughs> No, the wrong nightmares. <laughs> this is true. Yeah, exactly. Tell me something. Is this something that your film, would you say, definitely does? Uh, it's a ghost story, really. Uh, has never been tapped in before. Paradolia hasn't. But I'm not showing too much my age, but I was into the old 80s slashers, American Lovely. stuff. And there's a lot of homages to that. And, um, and that's why our cast is made up of Diane Franklin from the Amityville Horror, uh, Sandy Johnson from the original Halloween, who was Judith Myers in the original Halloween. And, and I've seen all of these. This is the thing, I have watched them, but I'm just like, I watched them, but I don't want to. Oh, you don't want to. <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah. the co-founder of my company, Misty Moon, was Love Adrian it. King from Friday the 13th, the original Final Girl. I remember Friday the 13th. Well, she was the lady that chopped off Mrs. Voorhees' head. Well, we've even got a bottle of her Camp Crystal Lake wine in there, so there's loads and loads of homages uh, throughout, awesome. The film, awesome. throughout the film. Awesome. And you are actually one of the, or the... I'm the producer and casting director. I cast it. Awesome. Yeah, okay, we're going to hear more from you shortly. <laughs> and yourself as well, Aaron. Yeah. What part do you play in this? I'm the director and I was the editor on the film as well. Um, awesome. And uh, yeah, so it, it's been an absolutely amazing time working with Misty Moon and Cucumber Films mm. and we've just had an absolute barrel making this film and trying to make it as scary as possible really so it's right up your street i think you should check it out i think you should i think you should go and watch this right now <laughs> you know no the truth is i genuinely do i i don't know how i always end up watching but it's probably because my partner likes watching horror so i end up kind of it's like a roller coaster though yeah. it's like it's the scares you know that are coming once you've seen enough horror films you sort of work out the uh the template for it and that's when it's like when horror movies suspend that and they're able to sort of take you by surprise that's what yeah. we try to do yeah. with our film and if we weren't really scared i mean i'd be sending stuart rushes and sequences and edits and then if i if it was like oh bloody brilliant and then um, i didn't sleep last night and all this stuff i'm like okay we're on the right track so if stuart wasn't really scared then i was like okay because stuart's seen it all stuart's seen every horror movie under the sun so if you're not impressing stuart you're not doing a good job wow it's also filmed in my cottage which is haunted as well so all of the soundscape where you hear the creaking going up the stairs and all that that it's isn't real. that is real my wife and i hear that every night it's like a 500 year old cottage so we were worrying that we may be bringing things out as well but you just walk in there I think that's the star of it, really. Is the, sure. is Would the, you say you're location. tuned in to the... Uh... Well, they're very nice, let's put it that way. The ghosts there, you know, I've come down to put the cat out the in the garden yeah. in the middle of the night and I've heard giggling downstairs as I'm coming downstairs and directly I stop get to the bottom of the stairs it stops and so it's weird but not a horrible feeling yeah not a horrible yeah feeling. and honestly just just how you're living these days where obviously this is part of your life clearly mm. yeah, yeah yeah would you change it no. in other words do you enjoy the environment well i've honestly? been there four years we've been there four years now and the guy that we bought it off before he I, first thing i said to him was for a place to sell it's going to be haunted and he's all he said was well as long as you're a nice person, then it's nice. And we've had no problems, so... <laughs> the, toilet, the walls are dripping yeah. blood. But as long as you're nice, it's all good. Don't worry about that. Talking about blood as well, with this film, we did it more for the John Carpenter. We, it's not blood, gore or anything. There's just bits there that you see. Yeah. It, you let your imagination work with it. I think the other producers didn't want any blood on the cottage floor, so we were like, how do we do this without blood? But then, to be fair, it worked out just oh, the way we wanted it to. Clearly it won an award for this you must be really proud of yourselves guys oh we're super chuffed i mean it's 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 great to see a horror film i mean we both love ghost stories as well so it's nice to have something that uh lets the audience walk away and go oh oh because we have taken something i mean paradoxia itself is the meaning of when you see um faces and objects and yeah, uh, yeah. you know you see it on cars and clouds and things like that but we take a very sinister turn with the uh with the phrase um with the okay. word sorry okay. and uh, oh my god what's that behind you <laughs> <laughs> anyway, i did i was like i oh! like the way she left us there as well like why <laughs> but, but anyway last but not least what about dad how does dad fit into this 
Your dad is? My dad. Yeah. His dad. Okay. Yeah. My dad, uh, Stuart, was looking for a story, a very short story, and I approached my dad, who's a writer. He's got a novel out called Gape. <laughs> Sorry, I can't even concentrate. We're trying to smell you all the time. Go on, go on, go on. <laughs> But my, um, yeah, my dad wrote the script for it and uh, it was an absolute amazing time working with him on the... You're still terrified, aren't you? Go see Paranoia. This, uh, <laughs> this is stupid. This is our job, you know, to frighten people. And you've done a really good job. Listen, this is Aaron, this is Stuart. They won the best horror and I see why. So, yeah. I'm sure you'll see them in the near future because this is clearly not the end of them. This is just the beginning by the sounds of it. Boom. <laughs> Aaron and Stuart, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Come here. Oh, so good. You're There's nothing there, there's nothing there. Oh, <laughs>